This week on Dan. Located in Bangkok's iconic intersection district, the striking new Apple store designed by Foster and Partners has officially opened its doors. Here in Ratchaprasong, the cantilevered tree canopy roof is unquestionably the building's defining feature. It's a dizzying gesture by Foster and Partners, which establishes a quiet sculptural presence in this part of the city. The circular roof projects out from its central trunk over the almost 25 metre diameter glass drum facade and extends a further 3 metres in every direction to provide shade to the retail levels beneath it. Tracking the circular outline of the canopy, the building's glazed facade blurs the line between indoors and out, allowing the tree-like structure to stand almost uninterrupted in this bustling urban jungle. Australian company Laminex has challenged Melbourne architecture practice Kennedy Nolan to put the brand's range of laminates to the test in innovative and exciting ways. The expansive kitchen is the first of two kitchen spaces to come from the challenge and is the more spacious, family-focused addition, which is anchored by a large central table with show-stopping curved legs. Determined to push the sculptural limits of laminate, Kennedy Nolan balanced dynamic design ideas with intricate detailing and, in most cases, the finer details are only discoverable upon close inspection. With the expansive kitchen project, Kennedy Nolan has fashioned a sophisticated family zone for the future, setting the kind of scene where the residents might cook, eat and socialise or work from home at times like these. The material-led design is forward-thinking in the way it has challenged the traditional use of laminate, resulting in a kitchen blueprint that is beautiful and practical in equal measure. Located toward the pointy end of the map in Israel's south, in the Arava Valley near the Edom Mountains, the new Six Senses Hotel by Tel Aviv firm Plesner Architects is due to open this December. While the highly anticipated opening comes a little later than first planned, the hotel promises to make up for the unexpected lag by providing guests with uplifting experiences at every turn. Intimate in scale, the peaceful desert oasis will host guests in its 60 suites and villas against a backdrop of breathtaking rock and sand formations. Each of the resort suites presents guests with private outdoor decks, each with panoramic views across the dunescape, and the large villas feature relaxed living rooms and individual plunge pools. Awed by the history and vast natural beauty of the region, the architects say the main idea of the hotel is to keep the spirit of the desert. As such, the architecture employs textured limestone, locally excavated flint and thatched roofs in this contemporary reinterpretation of ancient nomadic structures. Also this week, Dan caught up with artist Dan Kyle. The Australian bushscape that surrounds his Blue Mountain studio is a recurring subject in his paintings. So when bushfires swept across New South Wales in late 2019 through to early 2020, he naturally felt a gut-wrenching sense of loss, sadness and helplessness as blackened earth and smoky skies replaced the famous blue-green haze of the mountain range west of Sydney. Captivated by the rapidly changing natural environment and the bizarre, almost pretty quality of light created by the bushfire smoke, Dan captured his local landscape in its altered state. The resulting paintings show scenes of haunting beauty where prints created by dried paper daisies add an enchanting glow of hopefulness among ecological tragedy. Join us for those stories and more this week at dailyarchitecturenews.com.